hi hi welcome back to find fit five interval nitro exercises and we use a stopwatch for this that means the first exercise is going to be 30 seconds long the next a minute then 30 then minute then 30 with equal rest in between down below in the description will give you a little more detail of what the heck I'm talking about. Another point that I would like to make is that you can go through this round once and then do some nice dynamic stretching and do it again. Do some more dynamic stretching for say three minutes and then take it a third round. This is what we do in our fine fit class here at TNT Divine Fitness. So definitely a challenge if you're up for it. <laughs> Before I show you what this week's five are, make sure you are warmed up. So yes, I'm going to say it again. The legs warmed up, the hips warmed up, shoulders, joints, and yep, <laughs> definitely your wrists. Now, let's find out what this week's five are. <laughs> Number one exercise is going to be the chopper up into an outside leg hook, then switch into an inside, then come down and repeat. If you're not at this stage of the game, no worries, just stick with the classic chopper crunches. But for those of you who want a little more challenge, here we have it. So up you go, chopper crunch, hook on, we'll make sure that back leg comes down, nice, clean, strong, and switch. Again, legs come down, come all the way down, switch sides. And I'll try and show you a better angle. So you don't have to keep your legs straight when you're going up into a chopper. You can bend, extend, outside leg, inside. See this one? Down, nice and beautiful straight line. Bring it up, hook the other one, down, straight beautiful line, and come down. There's a few variations of that. Pick what works best for you as long as your legs are straight and beautiful clean lines with pointed feet and toes. <laughs> All right, exercise number two is going to be hip swings starting with narrow and then going to wide. So this is a minute long. So narrow means feet are together, bring it down and swing away. <laughs> So you do this for 30 seconds, and then you bring it wide, come down, and keep at it. Make sure the booty is back so you can really target your glutes and your hamstrings. Exercise number three is going to be shoulder shrugs with a twist. So we have done these in the past. So you're gonna come up to the pole, up on your tiptoes, reaching as high as you can, and you're gonna engage your shoulders. So if you look from here, engaged all right my arms aren't bending to do that it is purely my my shoulders doing the work and then you're going to twist in the direction of the high hand so I'm gonna go up and twist switch hands up and twist switch hands and you're gonna do that one for 30 seconds our next one is of course on the floor and we're going to do chicken wings with the hands and I'll show you the rest. So I don't want hands up here this time. I want them down here so that our legs don't bump into our elbows. So from here we're going to pike it up one side, two side and chopper. Bring it down. Come back up one side two side and chopper and we're going to do that for a full minute our last and final exercise is going to be the lovely wonderful squat jump swing so yeah we've done these before completely exhaust you and that's a good thing <laughs> so facing the pole squat down Jump, swing, come back down. And yes, 30 seconds of those. And that is this week's five.